machinery. Big Lenny could outdrink anyone I ever knew. He had been known to have six pints of Guinness at lunchtime. No one ever saw him eat after breakfast and then be able to talk quite adeptly at a 3 p.m. meeting with senior management, having burst his teeth upon returning to the office. Other colleagues who tried to keep pace with his six foot seven frame took the afternoon off and swooned onto the train, no doubt to be castigated by their wives. People like Lenny and his mates are the hands on the tiller that manage your money. Think about your savings or your pension and these asset manager boys have been wheeling and dealing for you over those long years. They are gradually being replaced by a more tech savvy cerebral bunch who don't have the time for pub tomfoolery or banter. The wife thinks it's because I haven't been around him enough, male role model and all that guff. Lenny's brow furrowed before swigging on his pint. My lad got suspended from school for hitting two kids in the playground. He's 15, so not a great stage in his schooling for this. It was clear that he was taking it badly. I never got into much trouble as a lad at school. Something about the fear of God of my own dad. He was a local butcher and I thought I was going to follow in his footsteps. As if. Uh, Lenny yawned and drained his glass, which looked small in his shovel-sized hands. He ordered us two more. He almost always paid. You couldn't fault his generosity. There was something of a cord that bound us all together about Lenny. This was why he was so successful in our firm. Nobody knew the industry or the firm quite like him. If old school needs to make way for the new, then to hell with all those young Turks. When Lenny goes off, the whole operation will just end up being a boring monoculture of computers doing all the thinking and investment decisions. When was the last time you took a holiday with your family? Then he asked me. Hmm, last month, when the schools were out for Easter, I said. He paused and looked across the bar, as if he was seeking inspiration before he spoke. It's been two years since I went with both my kids and the wife. They've been going on their own, and then me and the missus then do some long weekends together, just the two of us find the kids all together with this got on my nerves. So now you're wondering if that was a bad idea, I asked. I didn't want to come across as if I was judging him, but I have known Lenny for years. I think I need to take that boy of mine fishing or canoeing, and then all four of us on a summer holiday. You do what seems best. Don't let any other experts try and tell you how to be a good parent. Lenny smiled broadly exposing the gap in his front teeth. That's why you're my mate, Don, patting me heavily on the shoulder. I think I need to get back after this one. And I upped the pace, knowing I had to stop in and pick up a sandwich on the way to the office. Monthly compliance meeting, and I can't be seen to fall asleep at that one. There's something I need to tell you, as his voice lowered. What's that? Wondering if I was going to be able to slip out as per my schedule. This is strictly between you and me, right? You're an in-house lawyer and I'm asking for legal advice privilege. You don't have to divulge certain information. His expression was deadly serious and he made his point by jabbing his finger at me. What is said within these walls stays here, I reassured him. I'm being investigated for insider dealing. What the hell? How? Why? That recent farmer merger between you know who in France and the US. Upper management don't like that I increased our funds ownership of their stock just hours before the merger was announced. They claim I could only have been acting on the basis of a tip off. And? Were you? He put down his pint and gestured for me to move closer. Bloody Dave at the bar had told me that one of the bankers from Armstrong Baker, who advised on the deal, had blabbed about it when he got smashed here last month. 
I figured, why not give it a try? Holy crap, Lenny. That's not allowed. Quiet, mate. He gestured with his hands. My defence is that I heard it on the rumour mill. What they don't know is that I gave Dave 60k to book a personal side trade in his brokerage account at the same time. And that we'd split the profits down the middle. He did, and we have. <laughs> Made 10 grand each, he said, with a smile. So why are you telling me this? Just needed to talk to someone. I'm going half mad. Anyhow, they can't trace it back to me. And there's nothing on any emails or chat or recorded phone lines. I looked at my watch. The meeting's in 15 minutes. Look, I better run. Mum's the word, right? I eyed him up and down, reappraising everything about Lenny. But I nodded. What else could I do? I wasn't going to grass up an old friend. This was a man on his way out who had to live with having tarnished his soul. For all I knew, this wasn't the first time either. So how did that family holiday go, by the way? Then he asked. It was great until I took my son mountain biking and he broke his elbow on a rock. Lenny laughed and so did I. Sorry, I didn't mean to laugh. And then we laughed some more 